Good evening. I am most honored to be before you today. And uh, I deeply thank the organizer to have invited me for this event. Um, the, the topic is very uh, timing because increasing longevity and subsequent aging of the population have placed welfare states under stress. And governments see everywhere the aging of the population as a mounting cost that they must urgently contain by either reforming pension system or the coverage of long-term care for the frail elderly. Uh, therefore, governments have concentrated their efforts on reducing the risk stemming from longevity and aging. And doing that, they have spread a view of aging as a lack or deficit. I, my point will be learning how to appreciate and optimize the new resources resulting from a longer lifespan has mostly been overlooked in public policies. And I will insist on the fact that confronted to longevity, governments have to undertake both to optimize new resources and reduce the risk stemming from increased longevity. And precisely, boosting senior civic engagement is a way to help optimize the use of these new resources. What are these new resources? Very rapidly, I um, insist on some. For instance, majority of seniors under the age of 75 are in good health and have a higher level of education than those who are older. Also, you have more experienced wage earners become, becoming available for the labor market as the, population, the working population ages. Also, more qualified volunteers become available as a resource for non-profit organizations. Also, the economic and social contribution of seniors create value and increase performance. Also, it's good mentioning the growth of the silver economy due to the increased demand from seniors. And the conclusion is the long-life societies. In this long-life society, senior volunteers represent a reservoir of human resources to be activated and to reforge social bonds and solidarity. And up at present, this reservoir is underused. And the condition for fully tapping this reservoir is stop seeing this increasing number of seniors as a burden, as we do, actually. Instead, we should see them as full-fledged citizens whose volunteer work contributes considerably to the economy and society. Now I turn to a panorama of senior civic engagement in France. France is a country where longevity is among the highest um, just behind Japan, with a champion <laughs> in this matter. Um, but the birth rate stayed relatively high compared to many other countries. Um, what about the non-profit sector in France? It has been growing since the 70s. Half of its funding comes from public 
and above all, local authorities. And the total number of volunteers in association has been estimated at 14 million, 25% of the population over 15 years old. If you look at figures, seniors are more active in association than younger people. 51% of persons over 60 belong to an association, of whom nearly 58% of 60 to 69 years old, versus 42% of persons under 60. So they are really the pillar of uh, uh, volunteer engagement. For which volunteer work? And I go to a table for France. Volunteering rate by age groups. And you can see that uh, uh, senior volunteers the most for leisure and cultural activities, culture and recreation, uh, 41.5 percent against for 15 to 59, uh, 30 percent. Uh, but the civic engagement in association, active in social, uh, humanitarian, or health work ranks second, with, uh, as you can see, 23.5 percent against 14 percent for the other younger age group. And you can see also in this table that civic engagement drops after the age of 70. Uh, according to other survey, European survey, the SHARE survey, uh, the French membership rate of 23.5% uh, that you can see for uh, civic engagement in France uh, is uh, higher than the average of 10 European countries 16% only in the 10 European countries. Going further in this panorama of senior civic engagement in France, I have to point out that uh, being a retiree correlates positively with membership in civic-oriented association. And, uh, the chance of belonging to such an association was multiplied by 1.5 in the case of retirees compared to people over the age of 50 still in the labor force. And the civic in involvement of retirees over 50 years old is a growing trend. Retirees in, in France account for 50 persons 50% of the person who had non-profit organizations. So they, they are not very present in uh, uh, civic engagement, but also they had uh, the, the, this organization. 57% of the president of association are at least 55 years old, and a third over 64, 65. And also, senior volunteer work is steady. Uh, time devoted to civic engagement is large. I go to another table. Uh, you can see that uh, in regular volunteering, the, the second line, uh, the 60 plus with 205.9 uh, uh, hours per year of voluntary work are very active. But, and, but in social and health services, you can see that they are really uh, uh, spending a lot of time 
uh, in this work. They contribute five hours of work per week, more than do uh, 50, 15 to 59, uh, but also uh, those doing volunteer social or health work put in even more hours a week uh, in this job. So it's, a, uh, it's an important contribution uh, to senior civic engagements and it's a large scale trend. The value of this uh, volunteer uh, work should be uh, assessed. It is too, uh, it is very rarely assessed. Uh, we have, we have uh, data uh, which are uh, hold. Uh, the value of this work, uh, according to a study in uh, 2016, uh, the value of this work is equivalent to at least 3% of pensions value in 10 European countries. And for France, an estimation uh, from 2004 uh, estimated that 1% of GNP, uh, the contribution of senior uh, to uh, civic engagement. So uh, it has to be... Uh, more accurate and uh, more regularly assessed to, in order to make visible, more visible, this important contribution of senior to civic engagement. So, impediment to senior civic engagement. It could be much more higher, but uh, it would be higher, but there are many impediments at the moment to senior civic engagement. My interpretation to that uh, is that uh, we, have co we are confronted to two contradictory trends. And uh, these trends have, in the meantime, triggered the development of this uh, solidarity retirement, as I call it. It's a, a, Retirement becoming a period of uh, expressing solidarity. Uh, uh, to two contradictory trends. First of all, the demographic revolution of longevity, which has extended the period of life on retirement from a few years uh, after World War II to 28 years today in France. As a consequence of this uh, demographic revolution, the social meaning of retirement has changed and new expectations have arisen. Namely, people want to take back control over time freed from work and make life plans. Second, trend, the society's failure to provide seniors with meaningful opportunities. Society failed to find an active, useful role for seniors. Despite young retirees growing resources and their rising expectations, very little has been done to optimize these new resources and use them in behalf of, so of society and the individual. This has been called the structural lag by Matilda Riley. The, she was meaning that the seniors' aptitudes were increasing while society offering them few opportunities for using them. And the impediments uh, result from these uh, structural lags uh, to uh, voluntary engagement of seniors 
in civic-oriented organizations. First of all, in France, uh, early retirement schemes have proliferated during the 90s, 80s, and 1990s. Uh, they have introduced a strong discrimination at the workplace uh, against older employees and prevented them to go on working as early as 50 years old or 55 years old. And second uh, impediment, it's uh, starting in 1999, the European Commission recommended active aging and launch a new European employment strategy for extending the work life and postponing retirement. The objective was by, the, well, by 2010, at least, 50% of the 55 to 60 years, 64 years old should be retained at work. But as a consequence, this marked uh, shift toward active labor market policy and retirement reform instead of efforts for redesigning the role of juniors of uh, union oh, <laughs> of seniors in society uh, so the main was to redefine the role of senior in society and instead uh, it has been, uh, and instead, it has been uh, a shift toward active labor market policies and retirement reforms. So prolonging work life has uh, uh, made uh, the effort toward uh, uh, active senior, um, active life of senior, uh, uh, difficult to maintain. Um, so what are the levers for senior civic engagement? At the individual level, uh, the major motivation for senior volunteers is to enable them to maintain or reform social bonds. This is the motivation for 31% of persons over 60 as compared with 13% of those under that age. For retirees involved in senior civic activities, the dominant motivation is to be useful to society. These motivations drive civic engagement toward activities mixing age groups and generations. It may be a difference with what uh, we have heard from for Germany. Um, they, they, they refuse age segregation in the case of France and want to be, the, when, the way they say it, 15, the way they say it, to stay in the real life with a, a mix of generations and ex group. Um, this contact with uh, mixed age groups help people maintain well-being while aging. And in all cases, seniors expect in return for their voluntary work a recognition of their place in society and of themselves as full-fledged citizens. And this recognition is very important and not provided uh, enough. At the societal level, a major issue is to reinforce the possibilities seniors have for using their resources to build a more inclusive society for all. And public policies have a major role to play. And they are the key to activating senior resources for this purpose. But such policies should offer seniors a wide range of possibilities for active aging, from which they may choose and find out recognition. Instead of trying, as it is done quite often, uh, 
to directly use their resources for civic engagement. So what role for public authorities for boosting senior civic engagement at the local level in France? They have a major, a major role to play. At the national level, it would be to create a context and coherent framework that is supportive for regional and local programs. And also to disseminate a positive image of seniors with advertising campaigns to draw attention to their social utility and mainly documenting their contribution to society. Seniors should, should be seen as an opportunity instead of financial burden. And public authorities should play a bottom-up role instead of a top-down role. Uh, in France, we have a, a failure of this, uh, I would give an example, of this top-down role, which is not the most effective, which has the mo effectiveness. Uh, for instance, we, we created in 2005, uh, uh, the French government created a personal citizen engagement account. And the idea is to accumulate points as a function, is this uh, account, to accumulate points as a function of volunteer activities performed that can be used afterwards as a, a, to enroll in training programs. However, this account had no impact really on senior civic engagement because it was oriented toward young and their training needs and not focused on uh, seniors and their uh, needs in civic engagement like recognition, for instance. And I come into the more precise uh, example of uh, the, how to boost senior civic engagement at the local level and how, how it looks this bottom-up role for public authority. The idea would be to develop an intergenerational ecosystem of local solidarities. The idea is for constructing and coordinating locally available resources of solidarity, whether from public source, firms, non-profit organization, or volunteer work. This synergy to be created between public and private sources of solidarity is the most promising way to modernize the welfare system. I think it's uh, much more uh, important that only boosting uh, senior civic engagement. It's a new way to provide solidarity and protection in the new era of a long life society. This implies switching from an omniprotective or welfare state toward what should become a proactive architect of solidarity. And this modern social state should stimulate and coordinate the main pillars of welfare, namely the state, the market, and NGOs. And with that, develop a social investment strategy, which means being more preventive uh, than curative, as it used to be. 
Why should these efforts be intergenerational? In a society where four generations live together instead of three, a new foundation has to be led for the pact of solidarity between generations. I think that it is a very important issue in our society, long life society. To renew the pact of solidarity between generations. Actually, this possibility of living together is compromised and doing together, that's the idea of this uh, new uh, senior civic engagement, the idea of uh, boosting living together by doing together in order to renew this pact. An example that I can give is uh, uh, the uh, regional, the idea of, uh, of regional institutes of aging. Uh, since 2005, we have been created in France some regional institutes of aging uh, at the instigation of local authorities. The idea is uh, to bring together all concerned parties at a local or regional uh, level, whether from businesses, society, non-profit organization, medicine, research, or sectors of housing, urbanism, transportation. Thanks to this synergy, the question is being asked about how to reap for all the benefits of longevity and of the coexistence of four generations. Furthermore, this institute is in charge of decision-making tools for local government and designing and recommending these uh, decision-making tools. And in an extension of the work of these institutes, I think knowledge should be improved about the impact of senior volunteers' work and indicators defined to measure the contribution made by seniors and assess their economic and social effectiveness. I think it's a very important point uh, to, to assess the social and economic contribution. And then uh, a few uh, initiatives described uh, for a smooth gradual transition from work to retirement. And the idea is to help, sorry, to help seniors make plans for retirement. So we have some initiatives taken by big firms. Uh, it's the idea is sponsorship of skill program to boost volunteer work in associations. So these big firms like AXA, Orange, National Railway Company, uh, Paris Transit Authority, all these firms send their employees to boost volunteer work in association for like uh, one to three years. Uh, and in order that they they discover the non-profit sector and acquire soft skills in human relations in this domain. Uh, second example, initiative by France Benevola. Uh, France Benevola has been uh, founded in 2003. It's an umbrella organization and uh, its objectives bringing volunteers and associations to relation with each other, accompanying associations in motivating volunteers, and boosting volunteer work. Many initiatives for constructing a program of civic engagement, like awareness workshop for senior volunteers, intermediation initiatives, they have uh, uh, two, 250 reception offices, and a web platform, and 
also among those who are very interesting, I think, uh, this solid age program set up in 2011. And uh, the objective, so it, it is, like you, you see, an intergenerational programs. Uh, the objective, helping successive generations live together by doing together. 350 concrete projects operating in 2019 throughout France. And the principle is to capitalize on good practices for new initiatives. Um, I just uh, go to my conclusion. Uh, Another point is uh, adapt the management of volunteer activities to senior. Uh, the problem of management of these associations. Um, one point is offering appropriate training to senior volunteers. And the other point, very important also, is to help organize a rotation in leadership position inside association. Because the problem is that we cannot renew uh, this uh, uh, leadership position. And in conclusion, from these initiatives, young people and seniors are perceived no longer as a problem groups in society, but as solution. Such program should promote social inclusion and living together with, by, and for seniors. Ultimately, they refer to social bonds and strengthen democracy by bringing people to do together. Thank you. <laughs>